We all know that feeling when you're searching for information online and you click a link and, uh, a 404 error. Broken leads contribute to a bad user experience and can cause people to click away. Do you have broken links on your site? Let's find out. First, I'm going to show you how to find your broken links if you have a WordPress site. From your dashboard, go to Add Plugins and do a search for broken link. There are many broken link checker plugins to choose from. I am pointing at the one I personally use. I've been using it for probably over six years or so. And uh, I just trust it, even though it says on there that it's untrusted with my version of WordPress. I trust this developer. It was recently updated. That, those are things to always look for when you're adding a new plugin. How many users does it have? What's the rating on it? You do want to only use plugins that are regularly updated. After you install and activate the plugin, you'll be able to find it under Tools and look for the broken links and click that. If you've installed the plugin for the first time, give it a few minutes to check through the links on your site. If you have a lot of links, it could take a little while but you can go ahead and start fixing some of them as it's finding it. So click on the broken tab and see if anything shows up. So it did find a broken link on my site. I need to tell it either to unlink it from the text, which it'll go on the page and unlink the, take the link away, or I can edit the URL, or I could hit dismiss and tell it to ignore it. For each broken link, it will tell you the status the link text, and the source is the page that the broken link is on. If you're not using WordPress, there are several websites that will check your entire site for broken links. This site, deadlinkchecker.com, is one of them. You can enter in your website and click the check button. If you have a large site, this can take some time, so go get a cup of coffee while it runs. Uh, if it's a really large site, it can take several minutes. After it finishes, there'll be a list of 404 errors that it found. It just basically outputs a report. This, of course, is going to be a little more work because you're going to have to manually go hunt down those pages, find where the broken link is, and change out the URL or remove it. Not as handy as a, as a WordPress plugin, but still does the job and finds the errors. And you just want to try and clean up the errors as much as possible. Now that you've found all the broken links and cleaned them up, how do we prevent them from happening in the future? Well, there isn't anything you can do about other people's websites, but you can prevent 404s on your own site. If you change the page slug, which is the URL address to your page, you could be causing a broken link on your site. If you have a link somewhere that points to that page, it's now broken. So anytime you change the page URL, you need to add in a, a redirect. This does two things. It tells Google, hey, this page has moved to a new address. And it also flawlessly takes anyone that has the old link to the new page. You're going to go to Add Plugins and you're going to search for Redirection. This is the plugin that I use, so I'm going to install it and activate it. Now this plugin does have a little setup that it needs to run. So just click the setup. Let it run through it. I don't change any settings. And then once it's complete, I hit finish. Once the plugin's installed and set up, you'll find it under tools, just like the broken links plugin. And you'll just put in your old URL, what the page name used to be, and put in the new one and hit add redirect. Anytime you come back to the redirections page, you're going to see a list of all the redirections you've set up. You'll be able to edit them or delete them. Over on the right side, you'll see hits and last access. If that link has not been accessed for several months, you're probably safe to delete it. It's a good idea to check for broken links every month or two. If you leave the broken links plugin running, it will email you when it finds one.